Simplify the following radicals. Assume all variables are non-negative. The square root of 36 m to the second. So when we have a square root, what we're looking for are perfect square factors. Well, 36 is a perfect square, right? 36, that's 6 square, and of course we have m square. So I can break that up as the square root of 6 square times the square root of m square. And then using our rule, you know, using what we know, the square root of 6 square is 6, the square root of m square is m, so 6m. Square root of 60, a to the fifth, b to the second. Now this one's a little tougher. 60 is not a perfect square, but it has a perfect square factor. All right? That's 4 times 15. a to the fifth is not a perfect square, but it contains a perfect square factor. That's a to the fourth times a. And b to the eighth, well, that's a perfect square as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the perfect square factors and separate them from the non-perfect square factors. So I would rewrite this as the square root of 4, a to the 4th, b to the 8th, times the square root of 15a. Now the square root of 4, a to the 4th, b to the 8th, that's the square root of 4. So now remember from previous, uh, well, the square root, so we have the square root of 4 times the square root of a to the 4th times the square root of b to the 8th, and then times the square root of 15a. Recall from a previous chapter that the nth root of x to the m is x to the m over n. So the square root of 4 is 2. That's easy enough. The square root of a to the fourth is a to the 4 over 2, recalling that there's an understood index of 2 on those radicals. The square root of b to the eighth is the same as b to the 8 over 2. And then we'll leave that square root of 15a alone. So that would give me 2 a to the second b to the fourth times the square root of 15a. The cube root of 20, tw I'm sorry, the cube root of 54, g to the 4th, h to the 11th. See, now, since we have a cube root, we are looking for perfect cube factors. Well, let's see, 54 is 27 times 2. g to the 4th is g to the 3rd times g, and h to the 11th is h to the 9th times h to the 2nd. So I'm going to break that up, putting all the perfect cube factors in one radical and the non-perfect cube factors in the other radical. So that's the cube root of 27 g cube h to the ninth times the cube root of 2 g h square. Break up that first radical, cube root of 27 which is 3 cubed, if we want to think of it like that. And then the cube root of g cubed. And then the cube root of h to the ninth times the cube root of 2g h to the second. Using that rule for exponents and radicals, this would be 3 raised to the 3 over 3 power times g raised to the 3 over 3 power times h raised to the 9 over 3 power, and leave that last radical alone. So that would give me 3 to the first power, which is 3, g to the first power, which is g, h to the 9 divided by 3 is 3, h to the third, and then a cube root of 2gh squared.